So we also want to spend a little bit of time today in, as we just get started with the course, to think about the overall organization of the course and what people will be working on and how they'll be you know, participating over the coming weeks. And this year we decided to make some changes from the way we've done in the past. And for the first part of the course, we're gonna use the first six weeks as uh, an exploration of some of the core ideas of yep. creative learning, what we've mm -hmm. just been discussing. So today we gave the overview of creative learning and we'll spend the next four weeks on each of those four cornerstones, projects, peers, passion and play, each will get its own week. Mm -hmm. And then in the sixth week, we'll have a type of culminating week where we, I think we're calling it reimagining education, mm -hmm. where we think even more about how to take some of these principles and put them into practice and to engage people in thinking about how these ideas relate to the things that they're working on. And then start looking ahead about how they might take some of those ideas and bring them into their own practice. That's what leads to after those first six weeks, we'll move into the next stage. Yeah, so we're thinking of that as a time for working on projects and we're gonna have different groups based on what we saw happening last year, people taking initiative and coming up with their own ideas for projects. We're gonna have different project areas, ways for people to give feedback and then have a culminating exhibition where people are sharing what they're doing and yeah. And projects could be anything like trying some new activity in some you know, uh, educational setting in the world, either in a community center or it could be developing a new piece of technology or trying some new strategy. Uh, right, so it could anything from tinkering on your own, tinkering with others to offering some, like some people were offering making, maker activities and tinkering activities or applying it in some whole other area as we saw. So like over the course of a month or so, people get to experiment with different projects, share some of their ideas online, and then have that exhibition at the end. Yeah. So. Yeah, and I think the structure will also change quite a bit. I think for the projects, we'll try to put people into groups that are interested in similar things so they can support each other, they can give each other feedback. And yeah. We'll probably have kind of feedback and review sessions as needed and then we'll have this exhibition at the end whereas for the first six weeks there's a little bit more of a kind of a regular structure every week so every week there'll be a live seminar on Tuesdays at one like we're doing right now like, like we're doing right now <laughs> yeah. uh, like this yeah. um, from 1 to 2 p.m. US Eastern time and uh, the videos will always be archived so they'll be on the website and we'll link to them from the home page and the discussion forum so it's easy to find if people miss this particular time they can always watch the videos uh, afterwards and then each week as we go through the P's the idea was not to just learn about the P yeah. but actually do something that kind of lets you experience the, the, the core principle and so each week there'll be some activity and and at the same time also you don't just want to do the activity, you also want to maybe reflect on it beyond the activity or you want to see someone else's research around this core principle. And last year, one of the feedback we got was that people really liked the readings. And so this which year- Which you were surprised. Which I was surprised yeah. by, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, well, people still want to read. Um, so we'll, we'll have the readings each week. And, and actually also, you, you have started annotating for the first week kind of additional readings. Yeah, so we yeah. try each week We'll try to have just like a couple core readings. Yes. Yeah, so that, or resources. Sometimes it's a video right. or something else. But hopefully there'll be things that people can do in you know in yeah. an hour or less, just those core ones. But then we'll list some additional ones that people want to dive deeper. They can go that and all that will be on the website where people can. The other see. thing that's different, I think last time, like a typical course, read before you come to class. And this is now we're like, if you're interested and you want to learn more, then do the reading. So it feels less like I have to do it and more like, oh, that sounds interesting. Let me do it and then people can share. And the same with the activity. You can do it after this session. Feel free. I mean, whenever, but that's kind of how we're thinking about it now. Yeah. So maybe we could say, that, and all this information will be organized in the discussion forums online. So yeah. you might want to say a little bit about the the way we have different discussion forums this year than last sure, year. Sure. Yeah. So so this year we're using an open source tool called Discourse, uh, and we're the terminology is still a little confusing. I think the link in the navigation is Discuss. Sometimes we refer to it as the discussion forum. Sometimes we say Discourse. All of those, it's all the same. It's essentially where the community spends most of. It's time talking to each other, looking at each other's work. It's where we'll 
uh, share all the resources. We'll put links to the videos. People can share their ideas. They can add resources to it. So it's really, it's kind of the, the home of this learning community. Right, so there's some parts that, like, I know there's, like, one category called, like, discussion of the week, where people can discuss the readings and themes of the week. Yeah. Another called activity of yes. the week, where they can post their reflections, their activity, and reactions to other people's. Yeah. But then also pay places where people can just ask and share ideas with one and another. And introducing yourself. It's been great to yeah. see how people are doing that from all around the world and the different experience, the really rich experience. Do you want to show the map? Yeah, yeah you show the map. Yeah. <laughs> Does that work? Yeah. No, it's hard uh, to see. A little washed oh, yeah. out. Let me see. There you go. It's closer. I get the so this was as of this morning, and we know people keep adding. So you can add your pin if you haven't already. And you're using a new tool to make it easier for people to collaborate on the map, right? Yeah, uh, and it's linked to the top navigation has a link to the map. Uh, and if, if people haven't put their pin in, please uh, consider putting a pin in it and also see who might be close to where you are uh, and see if you might want to meet up with them. And I think in the same uh, uh, introductions, there's an introductions thread. And then uh, there's meet. And yeah. then there's a meetups thread. So some people are hosting physical meetups. And actually, there's one happening right now uh, downstairs uh, for some students at the Media Lab and at Harvard. And they're meeting, they're bringing their lunches. Or the idea is that they're bringing their lunches. And uh, and then they're watching the, the live stream and, and talking to each other. But we've seen around the world other people are starting to organize some of those physical meetups as well, which yeah. is nice. And we know that happened last year. And people really gained from having a physical connection yeah, while yeah. they were... I think there's, I mean, there's definitely Italy, there's Spain, uh, Knoxville, Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah so but, but then also people can arrange to sort of have virtual meetings as well, you know, separate yeah. from yours, so other things people can say. And that's, up. again, like the, the use of discourse is another experiment. We wanted to see if we could have more sustained conversation and more when new people come in, they see what the resources and conversations are. But that's something we're continuing to iterate. So as we get feedback in the about that's, this forum. Yeah, so people yeah. should give us feedback about what's working, what's not, because we, we, we think there's going to be a better yeah. setup than we've had in the past, but we want to keep yeah. refining it in the creative learning spiral. <laughs> and and but, the forum is the place to give the feedback. Yeah. Okay. But then this year, we also want to have m even more ways for people to do peer-to-peer -peer interaction. So, yeah. so we're, but Philip has been working on some, some new infrastructure for supporting that. Yeah, me with a, a number of other people, Shrishti yeah. Seti, who's, who's part of the project, and, and some other people at the Media Lab, we've built this on Hangout platform. And one of the features is that you can have breakout rooms. But it's very experimental. It's both the technology is a challenge sometimes, but also just the act of moving from one space online to another space and then coming back. So we're going to try this today uh, for 10 minutes, um, but we're doing it in a way that's safe. So <laughs> if people don't find their way back, that's not a, not a huge deal. But um, So that just to talk a little bit about the actual mechanics, on the screen right now, you'll see a list of sessions popping up on the left-hand side underneath the video. Each of those sessions has space for 10 people, and there's no difference between them. Uh, none of them have facilitators. They're really designed for people to come together, get to know each other, talk to each other, and, and have interesting conversations, and have real conversations that you can have with up to 10 people, whereas in the big room, it's very difficult for 150 or 200 people to speak at the same time. And so um, to join them, it's very easy. You just click the join button when we when we open them and then they fill up over time and you can see which ones are full. And so if you see some that are full and others that don't have as many people, maybe consider going to one of the ones that are still looking for participants. And then after 10 minutes, we'll send a message into the room that'll pop up in your little breakout room that says, please come back to the lobby. And by lobby, we mean this space that you're in right now. Um, and hopefully that works. And we're looking forward to feedback on the forum on how you found that experience. Um, and do you want to say a little bit about kind of the conversation prompt? Okay, yeah, we okay so, so for today, as we in our first experiment with these breakout sessions, we thought we would connect back to our discussion around the four Ps. And we thought maybe people could, in their breakout sessions, maybe introduce themselves, first of all, to get to know each other a little bit. But then talk about sort of which of the four P's, projects, peers, passion, play, are sort of connecting to the things that you're working on right now. What are the things that you're thinking about most or relate most to the work that you are doing right now? 
Is that the way you? Yeah, think? yeah. There's only ten minutes, and yes. if we have ten people. Won't yeah. be so much time, but still, to if there's some reaction and Good, just thought, getting yeah. and getting to try it, this out. So, so we'll, you'll need probably like a video camera, or at least a microphone, right, to try it out. But that's again something that. We'll yeah, it's a Google Hangout essentially. Okay. Uh, so if you've participated in a Google Hangout, it should be fine. Yeah. And we're planning on using this in the next few weeks. And so this so again, is give us give us first, there's a yeah. test, give us feedback, and we'll try to keep um, refining it. And then at the end of the ten minutes, yeah. come back here and we'll end the week with talking about the activity for the week that people will be doing. If you if for something goes, you know, if you need to leave sooner and you can't come back for that discussion, or, the video will be available online. Or if you end up talking for longer, yes. you don't you don't want to come back and listen to us. <laughs> yeah. The, um, the video will be available in the discussion yeah, forum, yeah. so you can see that for talking about the activity of the week yeah. for this for this first week. Great, great. So enjoy the breakouts. <laughs>